question 176 when the heart rate is higher than normal which one of the following occurs the duration of systole increases the duration of diastole increases the duration of only systole decreases the duration of both systole and diastole decreases we know that the normal time taken for one complete cardiac cycle is 0 0.8 seconds this is the normal duration for 72 heartbeats per minute. In the question, the heart rate is higher than normal. It means the heart is beating more than 72 times per minute. So in the case of heart beating more than 72 times per minute, the duration of each cardiac cycle would reduce because the number of cardiac cycles would increase per minute and to accommodate the increased number of cycles the duration of each cycle would reduce and duration of both systole and diastole would decrease it means that systole and diastole would occur faster than in a normal cardiac cycle thus in the given options the option number four that duration of both systole and diastole decreases would be the right choice option number one that duration would increase would be incorrect duration of only diastole and systole option two duration of diastole would increase would be incorrect and duration of only systole decreases is also incorrect the correct answer is option number four question 177 Hemoglobin combines with the gaseous product of respiration to form carboxyhemoglobin, carbaminohemoglobin, oxyhemoglobin, methemoglobin. The gaseous product of respiration is CO2 and CO2 combines with hemoglobin forming carbaminohemoglobin. So in the given options, option number 2, carbaminohemoglobin is the correct answer. Oxyhemoglobin is formed when O2 combines with hemoglobin and methemoglobin is the reduced form of hemoglobin. And carboxyhemoglobin would be incorrect. The correct answer is option number 2. Question 178, the term diffusion membrane is associated with trachea, lung capsule, larynx, alveoli. The diffusion membrane is a membrane through which gaseous exchange occurs. The respiratory gases are exchanged like O2 and CO2 through this diffusion membrane and this diffusion membrane is present at the level of alveoli where exchange of gases takes place. Thus this membrane is associated with among the given options with alveoli. Lung capsule would be the outer covering of the lung and trachea and larynx form the conducting part of the human respiratory system. The correct answer is option number four alveoli. Question 179. A box is given in which certain features or certain structures are presented. We have to find out how many of the above mentioned characters belong to class contractees. Let's analyze the given structures or features with respect to members of class contractees marine habitat this is a correct feature chondrichthys are marine animals and they have a ventral mouth operculum that is a gill cover this is absent in members of class chondrichthys operculum is a feature present in members of class ostichthys so this is incorrect with respect to chondrichthys placoid scales is the right feature external fertilization is also incorrect fertilization is mostly internal and these fishes are mostly viviparous so this is the right feature so among the given features four are correct and two are incorrect we are looking for correct features so option number two four would be the right answer the correct answer is two question 180 all mammals without exception possess seven cervical vertebrae are viviparous exhibit homodont dentition nourish their young ones with milk all the members of class mammalia that is all the mammals without exception possess mammary glands 
which means there are no mammals present which do not have memory glands. So option number one states that all of them possess seven cervical vertebrae. This is true for most mammals but mammals like sea cows it doesn't have seven cervical vertebrae. Does this feature comes with an exception? Are viviparous? Yes most of them are viviparous but mammals like ornithorhynchus are oviparous or egg-laying mammals. Three exhibit homodont dentition. Mammals exhibit heterodont dentition which means different types of teeth are present in the buccal cavity of mammals. And option four nourish their young ones with milk. This is true in case of each and every mammal because they possess mammary glands. The correct answer here would be option number four. We have come to the end of this quick solution session. Thank you very much.